All right, so we have a simple little project here, which is how to shrink wrap a CD or DVD or Blu-ray, uh, how to do it yourself with no special tools. Now I will use a heat gun, but I'm only using that because I don't have a hair dryer. Hair dryer would work fine, but I actually only have a heat gun. So I will be using this product here, which you can get at your local arts and craft store for about six dollars or seven dollars. And it comes on a big roll like this which we are going to cut down to fit our jewel case here. So we're just going to cut it out where it's a little bit bigger than the case. Uh, this is the first time I'm doing this. So hopefully it will work. I think the trick is actually what we'll do is we won't go ahead and do the do it all the way. Okay. Well, I'll just go ahead and do it. Leave a little extra up here at the top. Hopefully that's gonna work. So we'll fumble through it together. All right, so I've got this here which I just pulled out of my construction closet. Some kind of joist or hanger or something like that, but I just wanted a straight edge, preferably made of metal. So now we've got the shrink wrap cut the right size. And then hopefully, well, I could have done this a little bit differently. Hello? But we'll see. So the trick is going to be with our soldering iron here. It's been plugged in for a minute. I'm just going to I guess we'll just do this edge first and see how it goes. And of course I'm doing it here on my stove. Ooh, don't want to burn that finger. So just trying to take my time there. Alright, let's see if that worked. That's the key. You can't really do this by taping this material together and then trying to shrink wrap it because it'll pull itself away from itself. So, alright. Did that sort of enclose it? Yeah, looks like it. Looks like that worked pretty good. So now, I'll just go ahead and do it on this side. Try to make it look professional. Now obviously if you have to do this a lot, you want to buy the actual tool. Um, and I'd really rather do this in the opposite direction on this one. But 
so you don't do that burning my finger. All right, so if we're going to look you there. All right, so one more side. Well, let's see, now I've got the barcode on the side that's going to be. Be hard for hard for someone to read the barcode, so we're going to flip it around. Be careful. So I guess if you call a soldering iron a special tool, but I didn't have the other actual shrink wrap tool, so I thought that was actually a pretty good idea. because this heat gun is pretty hot. So, let's see how it goes here. Be a little slow and careful. Not too much. Don't want to go too far, melt anything. Which certainly you could do. So those corners could be a little better right there. I could have been, could have taken a little more care there. I think if I heat those up too much, they will melt. So, careful on the corners there but I mean that not a bad looking line with the uh, and you can see the barcade so there it is all right thanks a lot see you next time